The golden age of sports car racing is here as 2023 kicks off a new era for prototype racing. There's more than just new cars that you need to know about though. Here are eight things that you need to know heading into the 2023 IMSA season. Last year's dominating GTD duo of Matt Campbell and Matthew Jaminet will not be racing together in the 2023 season. Cam Jam, as they became to be known, will actually be racing against each other in the GTP class in 2023. This news comes out of Porsche's recently announced driver lineups for both their IMSA and World Endurance Championship rides, which they released to the public at their Night of Champions ceremony. Nick Tandy and Matthew Jaminet will feature in the number six Porsche, while Matt Campbell and Felipe Nazar will race the number seven. Confirmed WEC drivers Dane Cameron and Michael Christensen will also pilot those Porsche 963s at the Rolex, with the possibility of them also being in the cars for the 12 hours of Sebring. Porsche is one of four car manufacturers that will make up the new GTP class in IMSA in 2023. Acura will return to the top flight of sports car racing in North America with their Acura ARX06 entry. The Orica chassis ARX06 will be campaigned by defending champs Meyer Shank Racing and championship runner-ups Wayne Taylor Racing. BMW re-enters IMSA's top prototype category with their new BMW M Hybrid V8. The two Dallara chassis entries will be run by BMW M Team RLL. Cadillac is also making the transition over from DPI to the GTP category with their Cadillac V LMDH car. It is also built off of that Dallara chassis and it will be campaigned for the full season efforts from Chip Ganassi Racing and Action Express Racing. And then lastly, there is the new Porsche 963 that will be joining the grid. The 963 is built off of the Multimatic chassis and is the only car of the four GTP manufacturers that will feature customer cars on the grid next season. The customer entries will be run by JDC Miller Motorsports, who previously ran a Cadillac DPI entry, and Proton Competition, who joins the top flight of prototype racing in North America. One note about those customer cars, though, they are not expected to be on the grid until round four at Laguna Seca. NBC is set to feature 80 hours of IMSA coverage this season across NBC, Peacock, and USA Network. Peacock will feature flag-to-flag -flag coverage of the entire IMSA season, and the full broadcast schedule will be available down in the show notes. Elsewhere in the world, of course, check your local listings because there are some countries that do have contracts, but in most cases, you are going to be able to find all the coverage that you need on IMSA TV. For the first time in a few seasons, the Roar Before the 24 will not feature a 100-minute qualifying race. Instead, the cars are going to use IMSA's typical qualification format. There's going to be one session for the GTP cars, a separate session for LMP2, an LMP3 only session, and then a GTD and GTD Pro combined qualifying session. John Doonan told Sports Car 365 that this qualifying race is definitely not off the books forever and it could possibly come back, but he did also say that part of the reason for removing it from this week's events was just due to the supply chain issues that those new GTP cars are having, as well as the large number of new GT3 entries that are going to be competing on the grid this year. Championship points will, of course, continue to be awarded as usual in the qualifying session that will go Sunday, January 22nd at 11.25 p.m. Eastern Time. Speaking of the Rolex 24, it will be full for the 2023 edition as over 70 cars submitted their entries for the season opening race. IMSA recently released 60 confirmed entries for the race, which is down by one from the 2022 running. It will feature nine GTP entries, 10 LMP2 entries, nine cars in LMP3, eight GTD Pro entries, and a large 24 entry GTD field. It also includes very healthy numbers overall for the Michelin Endurance Cup. Of course, the race is at Daytona, 12 hours of Sebring, 6 hours of the Glen, and then the 10-hour season finale, Motul Petit Le Mans. It'll feature 56 entries for those races. And it's also reported that 45 entries are planning a full season schedule. You should also know about the new GT3 cars that are coming to the championship. All three of these cars will be racing in the GTD or GTD Pro ranks. With Ferrari and their new 296 GT3 set for its IMSA debut, with four cars entered in the Rolex. 
Max, the new Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo 2, also making its IMSA debut at the Rolex with once again four entries. And then there's the new Type 992 Porsche GT3R, where there will be seven confirmed entries on the grid at the Rolex. Something else you need to be watching out for in this 2023 season is could this be the last year for the LMP3 category? The LMP3 class has been a very hot topic lately, especially when it comes to available space on the grid. The class was added for the 2021 season in an effort to boost the number of cars that were on the grid on a consistent basis. Now, as we just mentioned, the Rolex grid is going to be maxed out and it really doesn't seem that we need any filler cars to be on the grid anymore. With the transition to the GTP category and the explosion in manufacturer interest, not only for 2023, but with more planned manufacturers coming on board in 2024, it begs the question, is the LMP3 category needed in the WeatherTech Championship anymore? It's a discussion that I'm sure is going to be running rampant over the course of the 2023 season, with IMSA not announcing any plans, of course, for the 2024 season just yet. I would imagine that the earliest that we'd expect to hear about anything with the LMP3 category would be at the State of the Sport address, which usually takes place in August. Another signal that this could kind of be the end of the LMP3s in the WeatherTech Championship is the creation of the VP Racing Fuel Sports Car Challenge, which will feature LMP3 and GT4 cars. This class will race in a sprint style format with two races over the race weekend, and their opening weekend of the season will be during the Roar Before the 24 race weekend. Personally, I would bet on this being the final season of the LMP3 category in the WeatherTech Championship. But what do you think? Will this be the final season of LMP3? Let me know down in the comments below. And a developing story that I'm sure we're going to see tons of coverage on over the course of of 2023 will be the new GT3 cars that are coming to IMSA in 2024. Yes, the Corvette Z06 GT3R has already been in the news lately, with some recent testing being done alongside the Garage 56 Camaro that will be competing at Le Mans. The first iterations of the GT3 Corvette are expected to be delivered to customers in the fall. Laura Wontrop Clouser has already said that there will be GT3 Corvettes competing in both GTD Pro and GTD in the 2024 season. Joining the new GT3 Corvette on the 2024 grid will be the new GT3 spec Mustang. Multimatic is set to operate the two-car GTD Pro factory effort in 2024, with Ford also confirming that there's been considerable interest in customer cars. New cars, new drivers, and new tracks. There has been so much great IMSA news recently. It also means that there is so much more that you need to know heading into the 2023 season. You can get caught up on all of that right here. Once again, a big thank you to all of our early Patreon supporters. If you too want to support the show, you can head to patreon.com slash off in the S's. Once again, thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great race weekend and doesn't go off in the S's.